Hello my beloved scholars, welcome back to the channel. What we're looking at today is adding and subtracting dollars and cents. So we're looking at money, right? We have to know how to add our dollars and cents using our basic rules of place value. Just like how we have to line up our regular numbers for dollars and cents, it has to be the same thing. Now, the beautiful thing about dollars and cents is that they are already in the decimal system. They are written according to the decimal system. Now, we add and subtract normally using the place value of the decimal system. So, we don't have to worry about um, changing units. It's already in the, the base 10 system. So we simply have to line them up according to the place value and then we just go straight ahead and add and subtract as we would normally do, right? So we're going to put our dollars, cents, sign at the top. So we have $2.80. This is just one cent. So the one is actually lining up there, okay? Notice very carefully where I'm lining them up. That's how we write one cent. And we have five dollars and ten cents. Okay, so now we add. Once we have them lined up, we're pretty much set. We just have to follow the basic rules of addition using the place value system, we cannot put a digit that is more than 9, so if we get anything more than 9, we just convert it to the next place, see how many groups and carry over, just like what we do normally. So the important thing is to get them lined up first, right? So 1 plus 0 is 1, 8 and 1, 9, 5 and 2, 7, and we are done. $7.91. If we wanted to write the final answer, we will just put $7.91. But this is acceptable as it is. So, number two, we're adding. So let's write our dollars and cents again. $213.60. 75 cents. So that's zero dollars. You notice where I put the zero? This is the first dollar. This is the units in dollars and cents, right? And 75 cents. And then this is what? $80. Where are we going to put the 80? Now you notice sometimes when they're writing dollars, if there are no cents, sometimes they leave off the cents. Sometimes they will put the point zero zero to show that there are no cents. But sometimes they'll just write it like this, $80 or $75. So we have to know, we're not going to put it here like how we put the 75 cents. It's $80, it, must, it belongs on the dollar side. It's eight tens, no ones, $80. So even though they didn't put their .00, we have to know, since we just want to line up everything and make it look uniform, we just put in our point zero zero. There are no cents. Okay? And now we can go ahead and add. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 6 and 7, 13. We know we'll put that 3 and carry. Just like regular. Remember, it's already in base 10. Okay? 3 and 1, 4. 8 and 1, 9 and 2. So that's $294.35. Let's go again. So we have $75. We're going to, it's no cents, but we just want everything to look uniform. So we put in our zero cents. 30 cents. It belongs over this side. It's cent. 30 cents. So we can fill in a zero to show that there are no dollars. Nine dollars and fifty cents. So that's nine dollars fifty cents. 
Now we go ahead and add. 3 and 5, 8, 5 and 9, 14, 7 and 1, 8. So our answer is $84.80. So we are here now. Dollars, cents. $80.13, so that's $80.13, $416.10, so look where I'm putting the 416, it's hundreds, right, and this is 10 ones, 10 cents, this is what, $5, over here it belongs, in the units place, just five. So we can fill in our zeros and let's add. So that's three, two, five and six, eleven, eight and one, nine and one, ten. So you see, it's, we follow the basic principles of addition. The important thing, the most important thing is to get it lined up in the first place. So look, be very careful for the ones that don't have the point zero zero. Be very careful for the cents. Remember, they're going to the right of the decimal place because it's cents. So where are we now? We are at number five. So that one is subtraction. But it's the same principle, so it's six hundred and thirteen dollars and forty cents. Subtract fifty-three dollars and seventy cents. Okay. Zero. We need to go and take one from the dollars and bring it over as cents, right? So, we ca because it, we can't take 7 from 4, so we take $1, leave back $2, and bring it over here as cents. 14 take away 7, gives 7. Okay, and can't take 3 from 2, so we take 1 from the $10, that's 0. And that becomes 12. 12 take away 3 is 9. Can't take 5 from 0, so we take 1. And 10 take away 5 is 5, and we bring down that 5. Okay? $559.70. $559.70. Number 6. Dollars. Cents. So that's $28.60, subtract $17.39. So we can't take 9 from 0, we're going to take 1, 10 take away 9, it's 1, 5 take away 3, that's 2, 8 take away 7 is 1, 2 take away 1, 1. Basic principles of subtraction. So we have 3 to go. Dollars, cents, 4 dollars. And we're taking away 0 dollars and 75 cents. So we know we have to fill in our place. We have to fill in our places with zeros. And now we subtract. So we're going to have to go, we have no cents at all at the top, and we need to take away 75 cents. We're going to have to go to the dollars to get a whole dollar and take it over here. Okay? So that's 5 and 2, 25 cents, 3 dollars and 25 cents. Next, $236.80, subtract 
subtract $7.95. All right, so again, we can't take five from zero. We're going to take one out of the eight. 10 take away five is five. Take one out of the six. 17 take away nine is eight. Can't take seven from five, so we take one out of the three. 15 take away seven is eight. Two, two. Now, if you are still having a little difficulty with your addition and subtraction, remember we have specific videos that deal with that, that focus on addition and subtraction separately. So just go and look for those videos under the grade four core, core um, syllabus in the channel section just look for the, for those videos the one on addition and the one on subtraction if you find that you're still having some difficulty with re renaming just go and check those videos all right so finally we have thirteen dollars subtract six dollars 28 cents. So we have zero cents to take 28 cents. We know we can't do that. So we're going to have to take one out of the three dollars, take it over here, and now we can subtract. Ten take away eight is two, nine take away two is seven. And 12 take away 6, that's 6, $6.72, right? It's very important that we know how to add up our money because many persons are taken for granted, they are robbed, people cheat them out of their money because they can't add up their own money. They go to the shop, they don't know how much money to get back. They are told how much to pay. They can't add up the cost of the goods that they're buying. They just accept what they are told. And it's not all the time that people are maliciously um, doing this. Sometimes they make an error and you're the one who needs to correct it for your own sake. So it's not all the time people are trying to rob you, but you might end up paying more than you need to pay because of some error. So you need to be able to check. And you don't always have a calculator on you to check. The phones nowadays are so very efficient and convenient. They come with calculators, but you don't always have it. But, and even if you do, you should be able. Don't, don't lose that skill because you know you can back out your phone or you can back out your calculator and, and just do that. Don't lose that mental ability to do the arithmetic, to take out your pencil and paper, or to work it in your head so that you're not shortchanged, so that you don't end up paying more than you need to pay or that you should pay. You must be able to check up the value of things and so you can work out if you can afford it or not to, right? You need to be able to, to, to do your own addition and subtraction of dollars and cents, right? And as I said, if you are still struggling with the principles of addition and subtraction at the grade four level, remember we have a video for each of those concepts. Just look it up, sit with it, practice, and make sure you master that. If you have been helped by this video, please don't hesitate to share the video with as many students as you can, your friends, your cousins, your neighbors, your classmates, because our mission is to have all students understand mathematics and lose the fear of mathematics. If you have been helped, please be kind enough to say thank you, miss, in the comments. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so now so that you can benefit from the tons and tons of videos that are on this channel to help you. 
So I will see you again, my beloved scholars, in the next video.